Happy Valentine's Day to everyone. Good morning, it's time. It's the Jeffrey Lampkin Show. Listen, coming up on today's show, we're talking about the New Hampshire primaries. They took place. We got all the results with our guru, Bree Maxwell. Also, Kim, Little Miss Cupcakes Ellison is here in the house. We're planning for Valentine's Day so it can be sweet and right for you. And listen, what is Valentine's Day without those love songs? Let's talk about songversations with the one and only Neo Soul superstar, Ms. Katira, is in the house. So listen, your coffee cups are up, your pinkies are out. I got lots to share, and we've got a show to do. Good morning. <laughs> here we go. Everybody, everybody get up. Everybody, everybody get up. Come on. Entertainment just for you. Smiling at us. God loves you. Somebody turn the lamp on. Good morning. Welcome back to the Jeffrey Lampkin Show. Listen, put your coffee cups down. I got all things political. And of course, the guru is here herself, Bree Maxwell. Good, hey, morning. good morning. Welcome back again. Thank New you. Hampshire has taken place. The winners have been announced. No surprise there. We talked about it last week. Donald mm -hmm. Trump. He did it. He did it. Now, I predicted it would be Marco Rubio, but mm -hmm. it ended up being Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. So that means we got to get ready for South Carolina because he's on his way. But Marco Rubio, the, the situation with that, of course, everyone is saying the debate. And he even confessed and said mm -hmm. that it was his debate the performance. The performance. Do you really believe that had an impact? No, I just think that New Hampshire is just a place full of more independent voters, more independent free thinkers. So and that's exactly what Donald Trump is. He's an independent free thinker. So that's why I think it went to Donald Trump. Okay. Now, we also talked about the Democratic side of things with um, Senator Bernie Sanders yes. and, of course, Trumping. Yes. Um, you know, and I, I don't know. I'll be looking at the media, and they really are just, like, going in about the fact that he won, like, he trounced yes. um, Secretary of State Clinton. Do you really see it as that? Because Bernie, of course, is from the neighboring state mm -hmm. of Vermont. So yeah, is it really? I see it that way. I mean, he did a great job up there. And then uh -huh. we also have to remember that Vermont is about the same as New Hampshire. Okay. And then, like I said before, that's a place of independent free thinkers, and that's exactly what Bernie Sanders is as well. He's not as radical as Donald Trump, but okay. he's still an independent free thinker. Okay. How do you think that this has set the election up as we're going forward? Because, of course, Governor Casey um, did come in a, a rousing second place. Do you think that was just um, luck of the draw, or do you think that that really is um, resonating with, that he's, his campaign is beginning to resonate with viewers across? The Republican race, I just think it's confusing, and it's just hard to call it. It does period. feel that way. It really does. It yeah, really it's, does. It's really hard to call the Republican race because we didn't think the person who won Iowa would win. Right, for Ted the Cruz. Republicans, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's who won. So it's like it's hard to gander who's going to win next or what's going to happen next. But we all know we don't want Donald Trump. Right. No one wants Donald Trump. But th but then there's 87,000, I believe, or 92,000 people that in in um, New Hampshire voted for him. What does that say? <sighs> but then we have to think about, are these uneducated voters? Okay. Unin uninformed voters. Okay. We have a lot of those. And that's at the fault of both parties. Mm -hmm. We have to figure out a way and a strategy to inform our voters a whole lot more. Okay. Um, make them more educated on the issues on these people. Because like Trump said before, I mean, he's going to win, and he's mm -hmm. going to win at all costs. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what he's doing. And then we have to remember, is that what we want for a leader of a, of a country? Of so as Trump wins, and we go to war with Iran or whatever, or we go mm -hmm. to war with ISIS, mm -hmm. he said he's going to win at all costs. You know what that's going to take? Right. Losing more American soldiers. Right. Our military wow. is already cut mm -hmm. short. Mm -hmm. Do we really want that to happen? Wow. What do we say? Because, of course, this week, Donald Trump made some remarks mm -hmm. um, and said some things that were very inappropriate. Now, of course, I do want the viewers to realize and understand that this was in response to um, there was a lady who was in the crowd at one of his rallies, and she made the remark, and he repeated what he said. And he's been receiving some backlash for that, saying, you know, are these the remarks, and I dare not repeat what he said, but are these the remarks that you will want to hear from your leader? And he's saying that he will change, you know, as he becomes... 
um, closer to being president that, of course, his behavior will change. But isn't that hypocritical? Is that is that a chameleon, someone trying to fit in for what it needs to be and not being authentic of who they really are? Yes, that's exactly what it is, him okay. being a chameleon. Mm -hmm. But I remember in Charleston, one of my friends, Mary Smith, she mm -hmm. went to a Trump rally and he kicked her out and she has a disability. He kicked her out within 10 minutes of the rally. Why did he kick her out? Well, Just she was one of the protests. I guess she was a okay. heckler. Okay. So he kicked her out within 10 minutes of the rally. Then after he kicked her out, he basically went on this whole tirade about her, about how she has such a soft voice, she sounds and looks like a mouse. Mm -hmm. So is, do we want someone that's going to sit here and pick at people. That would be right. your constituents. If you don't agree with them. Because right. that feels like a dictatorship. Mm -hmm. Like, exactly. if you don't agree with what I say, then, therefore, I'm going to come after you, and I'm going to come after you at all costs. Get us ready. Because yeah. now we're going to Nevada and we're going to South Carolina. Fill us in. Teach us. Tell us. Okay. What do we need to get so, prepared for? Nevada is the 20th. Okay. And so is the South Carolina Republican primary. Okay. okay. So, on February the 20th, in Nevada, is the Democratic primary. Mm -hmm. And then February 20th in South Carolina is the Republican primary. And then February 27th is the Democratic primary in South Carolina. Well, Cruz bounced back because, of course, we are, you know, very Christian-based here. We are very, you know, conservative here. We're about our church. We're about our Bibles. We're the Bible Belt. So, we are the Bible Belt. Uh -huh. We are about our Bibles. Right. And we are Christian, but majority of us do not live by those values either. And wow. that's why Trump is the front leader in South Carolina. So Trump is the front leader in South Carolina yes. right now. Trump will win South Carolina. Wow. Okay, we heard the prediction right there from um, Bree Even Maxwell. Even though our governor is not supporting Trump, okay. I do see Donald Trump winning South Carolina. What about Bush? Because the Bush, of course, had a great um, fourth place showing, I believe, fourth or fifth place showing. Um, so he did, I mean, it was within the margin, you know, there was, um, after Kasich, there was Cruz, there was Bush, all of them were there. What do we say for that? Um, do you think that that's going to be great for Bush as he comes to South Carolina? Because he does have a lot of supporters here. I believe whatever happens with Bush in South Carolina will determine his campaign. Okay. If he doesn't win South Carolina, I believe at some point he will drop out. Okay. Chris Christie did not have a great showing at all he's in gonna, New Hampshire. He's going to drop out pretty soon. So we, we expect the, um, the drop we, out. So we're yeah. hearing it. So the, the, the pool is going to... What does Marco Rubio need to do in order to be successful? Just continue with his campaign message. Okay. I okay. mean, just continue with the current campaign message that, she, that he has. Bernie Sanders and Hillary Clinton. Where do we stand? The Democratic primary. I know it's the 27. We're not even going to get a prediction for South Carolina yet. What do they need to do right now in order? Because here, Hillary does have a large percentage here in South Carolina. Hillary's doing good with what they're doing. Okay. Um, as a Bernie Sanders surrogate, I'll say that. I mean, I'm, I'm a truth seeker. I'm a mm -hmm. truth teller. And I will, I will say that. They're doing a great job with what they're doing. They just need to keep on doing what they're doing. They visit the HBCU. Mm -hmm. um, yesterday we had Vivica A. Fox mm -hmm. and uh, Angela Bassett. They visit the state house, mm -hmm. so they're doing what they need to do, and they're still picking up endorsements. What the Sanders people need to do is do what Obama did and focus on a major grassroots effort. Okay. We don't need celebrities in order to win. Okay. We need the voters, and that's what we're going to do. And once we get the voters, we can get the more delegates. Because once we get the delegates, it's, that secures our nomination. Because I say I, I see everyone getting taking pictures, but does that add to votes? Bree Maxwell, yes. you bring it every time. Hot like fire. She's educated you. Listen, and speaking of fire, the fire is on in here because, of course, today is Valentine's Day. To be loved. Oh, what a wonderful feeling and Kim Little Miss Cupcakes Ellison is in the house. We're going to plan Valentine's Day for you and make it what it needs to be. Your coffee cups are up and love is in the air. Good morning. Yay, that was good. <laughs> Kenan and Graves is a proud sponsor of the Jeffrey Lampkin Show. Located at 1837 Wilson Road in Newberry, Kenan and Graves has the perfect certified used car for you. Their extensive inventory has something in every price range, and they can get everyone financed, regardless of credit. All cars come with a warranty to give you the peace of mind you deserve. Come see Steve and Reggie, and find your new car at Cannon and Graves. Call me over. Let 
Let me come in the booth. All I wanna do is stand there next to you. I think I'm in, think I'm in love with a DJ. So can you put it on replay? Oh, I'm in love with a DJ. So tell me, can you hear me? Think I'm in love with a DJ. So can you put it on replay? I think I'm in love, in love with the DJ. I think I'm in love, in love with the DJ. Hey, Mr. DJ. Everybody's loving this party. And I can feel it all through my So tell me, can you please keep this party rocking all night, all night? Cause I think I'm in love with the DJ. So can you put it on replay? Oh, I'm in love with the DJ. Tell me, can you hear me? Think I'm in love with the DJ. Can you put it on replay? Oh, I'm in love with the DJ. I think I'm in love. Hey, pretty baby with the high heels on. You give me fever like I never, ever know. Such a product of loveliness I like the groove of your walk, your talk, your dress Feel your fever for miles around I'll pick you up in my car and we'll paint the town Just kiss me, baby, and tell me twice Cause you're the one for me, the way you make me feel It really turns me on You knock me off of my feet now, baby my lonely days are gone I like the feeling you're giving me Just hold me, baby, and I'm in an ecstasy Oh, I'll be working from nine to five To buy you things just to keep you by my side I never felt so in love before Just promise, baby, you love me forevermore I swear I'm keeping you satisfied Cause you're the one for me, the way you make me feel It really turns me on You knock me off of my feet now, baby My lonely days are gone The way you're making me feel It really turns me on You knock me off of my feet now, baby My lonely days are gone My lonely days are gone Check it out <laughs> Cannon and Graves is a proud sponsor of the Jeffrey Lampkin Show. Located at 1837 Wilson Road in Newberry, Cannon and Graves has the perfect certified used car for you. Their extensive inventory has something in every price range, and they can get everyone financed, regardless of credit. All cars come with a warranty to give you the peace of mind you deserve. Come see Steve and Reggie and find your new car at Cannon and Graves. Good morning. We're back here on the Jeffrey Lampkin Show. Listen, put your coffee cups down. To be loved, to be loved. Oh, what a feeling. And I'm in love this morning. First of all, because I got three beautiful ladies around me, although I'm married to one amazing woman. Good morning, babe. <laughs> hey, boo. Yes, she just celebrated her birthday. But we are celebrating Valentine's Day because, of course, it is today. And some of you, you know how men, we wait till the last minute to get stuff together sometimes. However, Little Miss Cupcakes, Kimmy Ellison is here to say right. today. First of all, glam, glam, and glam some more. Huh? Thank you, friend. Huh? Thank when, you, friend. when Kim comes out, everyone scores. <laughs> yes, Clap your hands right there. Everyone's clap. That is it. Kim, talk to us real quick. So, first of all, this setup is mm -hmm. absolutely amazing. Thank you. Absolutely amazing. Thank talk you. to us. What is your your 
um, idea behind this setup? Because it's Valentine's Day, so mm -hmm. some people are saying, you know, I should be going out, but some people are saying, I ain't got no money. Right. So right. what is Kim saying? Right. Well, what Kim is saying for the ones that said, I ain't got no money. Mm -hmm. What Kim is saying is that, hmm, let's do something special. Let's do something sweet. Let's do something meaningful mm -hmm. at the house. I mean, how would you feel if you come home and see all of this prepared right now? Baby, I'd be like, you did all this? <laughs> it'll, it'll make you think. And I know right. any woman will be like, you know, you right. put your time into doing this. Like, mm -hmm. you really? Right, Katira, am I yes, right? Yes. That's what it was. Like, you put your time into right. this. This is a big deal. And to take the time to cook, to right. decorate, to put all this. But, Kim, here's the question. I'm a guy. <laughs> is this really simple to do? I mean, I know really I can is. always call Kim Ellison. You, I mean, you can. Well, okay, we'll call Little you Miss can. Cupcake. You will. But is this something that I can try to at least recreate? I can't yes. do it like you, but can I recreate this? <laughs> well, you can call me and I can help you. Right, help, for, okay. <laughs> so tell us what, what your um, idea, what are we doing, first right. of all? Right, and, and, and I thought about, you know, with the men, you know, men always love steak, of course. That's it, that is and, true. And, you know, more women, such as myself, we love salad. So okay. this is just something um, that I think would, would fit both you know, you and your son. All right, so what do we have would. over here? Okay, over here we have a uh, flat iron steak. Okay. Most people call it a butler steak. Okay. Um, so, you know, you want to have something besides a T-bone. Everybody's used to a T-bone, so right. you want to kind of go outside the box. So we have that, as well as we have a potato, as well as we now, have just a garden I salad. I got a taste. I got, and Val is here. Now, what Val, because to have Val, someone like, I, let's talk about Val, because she plays an intricate part in she that does. day. She does. Because men, we always need a woman around to That's help right. us, right? That's right. We That's need a woman. Right. So what? Some, uh, someone like Val, you can call Val for what? Right. Val can be more of like a maitre yeah, d'. Okay. She could be like a maitre d'. So when you have, you know, when you step in the house, it could be just quietness. Right. Val can walk you to your table, sit you down, and go ahead and put your food in front of you. Wow. And mm -hmm. it's almost like, and what it shows, men, is that it shows that, you know what, mm -hmm. you actually took the time yes. to try and really put yourself in mm -hmm. to um, Valentine's Day. Now, a meal, let's start with the meal first. That's Something right. like this, what does it call? Dig this in this good gravy. Something <laughs> like this, what does it call? Well, the flank steaks, um, well, the flat iron steaks, excuse me, these are like two Ooh, for like $10. That is season perfectly, mm -hmm. boo. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. I did that. Okay, yeah, this mm -hmm. is country right here. And then mm -hmm. let me tell you about this. As far as the potato, mm -hmm. everyone does sour cream, but how about let's mix it up and put a little bit of a little bit of gravy, a little bit wow. of shrimp, a little bit of sausages Is that sausages in there? Yes. Is that sausages? It is andouille sausages. Come on, okay. sausages, okay. andouille sausages. I call that's it sausages. That's right, that's right. So once you put Boy, that, that in there, you amazing. can actually top it with just a little bit of cheese as well. Mm -hmm. Now, Jeffrey, you got to stop eating the steak so we can go and get the presentation. Okay, again. we got we to get going. <laughs> Let me get that one last piece. And you got some grits on here, honey. I you do. know I I'm do. a country boy. Can I just kind of taste that of grits? Of course you can. Of course you and can. And you got salads for those who like to eat yes. healthy. You can eat yes. salads and stuff as well. But it gives options, right? Right, exactly. And then when you're doing a dinner at home, you want it to look as if mm -hmm. you're getting it from a restaurant. So mm -hmm. this is what it looks like. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. And then from there, when we step over okay. to the dessert, okay. right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. We have two options over here mm -hmm. as well. And this right here, first of all, this right here, which is one of my top sellers, this is Kimmy Cherry's Cheesecake. Now, it is a big seller. I do watch on <laughs> Facebook. A lot of people like yes. your especially. Yes. And you do the um, ones in the jar I do. as well. That's I do very the big popular jars as well. A mm -hmm. little bit of stuff, of course, you know, it's been featured on many yes. shows all across. Mm -hmm. But you know, let's, let's not be twisted, honey. We love her <laughs> here at the Jeffrey Lampkin that's Show. That's right, okay? that's right. And Little Miss Cupcake loves you as well. That's it. So we can order. So when we're setting yes. up the show that they did things in advance, mm -hmm. they can order from you the cherry cheesecake. That's right. So that's cheesecake. And my cherry, in which I reduced myself, this is a cherry reduction as well, and it's it's topped with some more cherry reduction as well as a graham cracker. So you, you didn't, nobody, you, nobody, made, you did this yes, yourself. I made All it. of this yes, is, yes, honey, yes, say yes. it again. Say I. I. I, I <laughs> huh? I come through. And you, listen, we'll be perpetrating up in the kitchen like, girl, yeah, I've got been sleeping. I did them cherries myself, <laughs> honey. I pressed them and everything. That's right. Listen, I'm going to save that because Katira's here. So I'm going to, Katira, I'm a, do you like cherry cheesecake? Yeah. Yes, we're going to let Katira, we're going to let Katira taste the cherry cheesecake. Exactly. Okay. And now, this is something, just another cute little fun idea you can have on the table. I play with this, with you. Okay. Yes, you have your, um, just s'mores, like, I want some more love. Oh, oh I love it! Okay. Say it again, That's say it right. again! You got that, you have your little chocolate in the front, you have your Now, am crackers. I supposed to sing while I'm doing this? Just nuts roasting! <laughs> That's Christmas, right? That is Christmas. Okay, I need to find another mm -hmm. song. That's There's good. a meeting it in no, my... No, no. no I've not saying that one either, Katera. <laughs> Don't sing that one, Katera said no. Okay, so then I, then I put, I slapped mm, this on here. you have your chocolate in the front. Oh, and it's melting. Yes, mm-hmm. Oh, Lord, it's there. <laughs> I can't even get it off the well, stick. Well, actually, just put, put the other one on there Okay, put the other one on there. Yeah, and then once you put on that, then you slide the stick Okay, slide it off. Okay, and then what do 
I do now. Then you when eat I add it. my chocolate in well, there. Well, then you, you actually supposed to put the chocolate on there before then. Oh, okay, so I should have the chocolate in there before <laughs> yeah. that. Y'all know I love chocolate, so I'm going to get my piece of chocolate right here. Come on, yes. We mm. slide that in there, make it like a sandwich, honey. Yeah. You know how country, you know how in country they say a loney sandwich. Yes. You make me a small, mm -hmm. a small That's loney right. sandwich. That's mm. right. Mm. You love it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. Just something cute and, and mm -hmm. intimate, you know, just, just beautiful. And it doesn't have to even cost that much, you know? No. Just, Beautiful. I'm thirsty. What am I going to drink? Oh, come on now. you got to have a cocktail. But let me tell you the good thing about cocktails. Okay. You can the name them after your significant other. Okay. Like this one, this is Kimmy's Cotton Candy Cocktail. Mm. So... <laughs> Say it again. What is it? Kimmy's Cotton Candy mm. Cocktail. You know, and just little, little things like it's that. Little and little touches. Little it's touches like that. that counts. Mm -hmm. So, Jeffrey, I want you to do the honors okay. with this. All right, so I'm going to open this. I'm going to try to do this without taking our Katera's eye, okay? Uh-uh, you got to hold, so, yeah, hold the top. Turn it to the side. Hold the top. All right, hold the top. Mm -hmm. and, twist. and twist, be careful. All right, hold, hold the top, the top while twist. you're twisting. Uh-oh. <laughs> Girl, this is going to show me weak, because I can't even get this thing to turn open, honey. Listen, y'all keep on going. I'm going to get this thing open right here. <laughs> huh, you know you got to grab. <laughs> This thing no twist and turn. So you gotta have this thing done beforehand. This is, see, this is live TV, honey. This is the only way you're gonna get on live TV. This is what you're gonna get. Keep on going. Talk about something else, girl, while I try to get this thing going. Cause this thing ain't open. <laughs> oh, I was twisting the wrong way. You Lord, right, heaven, help see, us all. Mm, all right, see? here we go. So we gonna, Ooh. all right. Okay. Katir, you ready? I just wanna I'm ready, I'm ready. All right, I just wanna hear. You wanna hear that poof? Mm-hmm. Yes, let's hear the pop. <laughs> oh. Okay. Jeffrey, did you pop it? Well, I'm twisted. I know that. Okay. Just be careful. I see it coming up. Yeah, be careful. Be careful. Okay. Keep going. Go ahead. Uh -huh. <laughs> Live TV, honey. It just don't get no better than this, honey. That's right. Go ahead and pop. <laughs> okay. I like. I need this thing to pop. Mm -hmm. All right. So we get the champagne. Right. Okay. There we go. Oh. All right. Good. All right. Ain't nothing going to come out after the fact, is it? Oh. Okay. Okay. You didn't pop? Mm-mm. Uh oh, I hope I get this thing right. Oh yeah, make sure you hold it. Make sure you hold it. Okay, so you're supposed to hold it. Mm -hmm. There we go. Hold okay, it. all right, we got it open. Okay, all, all right. right. Yes. Oh, all right, we made it through. Hallelujah. Okay, now wa right. watch the magic of the cotton candy right. when you pour. Let's it. watch the magic. All right. Go ahead. The touch, the feel of cotton. Yeah. The fabric. Oh. oh. Oh, ooh, look at it dribbles down you. Mm -hmm. But you should do that with your uh, mate. You let it drizzle down her look hand. Look at that, oh, yes. Ha, oh, and it turns, ooh, and that's it turns. beautiful. That's right, it turns. And you know, you could do cotton candy any color. You know, I just love pink, I love red, so of I course love I'm it. going to do that. I love it, I'm gonna taste this. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna taste do. this real quick. Okay, mm. <laughs> I like that. Yes. And then it's sweet. Mm -hmm. So you have the cotton candy, and it's always good to do a dry okay. uh, champagne whenever, t anytime you do like a cotton candy or any other sweet fat. Now, why is that? What because it, it, it gives it that balance. Okay, it okay, because, it that balance. It's so, because it's so. Right. Because I would go in the store and try to find the sweetest champagne no, so that is around. <laughs> you know? Right. It was the sweetest thing I know. That's yeah. what Lauren Hill said, right? Huh? Yeah. Mm, sweeter than honey Absolutely. on a honeycomb? I don't know. Was that John Absolutely. P. Key? I can't keep Absolutely. up, honey, trying to keep them all together. That's right. Listen, so. this is, I want you to taste, can you taste real quick? Just taste yeah. this as a scoop, but taste, the, okay. taste that for me real quick. We're going to taste together. Shall okay. I am I, I got to taste too. I'm going to taste it. Go ahead, Katira. Go ahead. Let's just taste real quick. See, <laughs> this looks so good. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we both said, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that means I got your approval. Yeah, okay. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. Let me ask this. How much does something like this cost? To set all this up, what are we looking at? How much of a budget do they need to have set aside? Well... Can we do this for under $100? We certainly can. We certainly can. That's right. That's right. Wow. Yes. That's amazing. Yes. So you got steaks. Yes. You got baked potatoes. You got decorations. You got s'mores. You got cheesecake, champagne. Huh? Cotton candy. Cotton candy. <laughs> and listen, if you can't get Katera, you can go download her single. <laughs> honey, play that thing on the iTunes studio. Honey, you, listen, play it in the car. Just That's turn right. the car on, whatever you need to do, and make it happen. But it's there. What is love about to you? Because you're in love. Oh. And you have an amazing, Hi, <laughs> come on, you have an amazing, amazing Nick in your life and amazing man. Yes. So what does love mean to you? <sighs> it's just being at, just having that support system, mm -hmm. you know, um, him being my best friend. Mm -hmm. You know, see, y'all trying to make me cry. I'm not going to oh, do this on Oh, she's yeah, in but... love. 
<laughs> yeah, you know, oh, anytime okay. I, I need someone to talk to, he's always there. Mm -hmm. um, he's always been my guinea pig. Mm -hmm. Let me stop saying mm -hmm. <laughs> But anytime I, I try something, he tells me the honest truth. Right. Uh, but just, just, again, just having that support system and knowing that, you know, he'll pretty much do anything for me as well as I'll do anything for I him. So. I want y'all to understand how moist this meat is. It's so tender <laughs> that you can cut it with a plastic fork. That's right. Mm -hmm. and it's still really yeah, good. Yeah, make sure you show them that. Yes, that's, mm -hmm. that's not tough You can right cut with a plastic fork and it's still really good. That is so yes. good. So how can they reach you? Because we need people, like, if you want to be able to help. Like, today That's is right. not too late. Right. Kim is still available mm -hmm. until Nick comes sweet her off her feet and tell her <laughs> you to shut all that down. That's right. How can they reach you to get assistance with the Valentine's Day presentation? Okay. Well, they can actually reach me on um, my website, which is littlemisscupcakes.com. You can also reach me on Facebook at Kimby mm -hmm. Ellison. And if this has inspired anyone, um, when you go on Facebook, if you could just hashtag me, thanks Kimmy's Creations, mm -hmm. Creations with a K. Mm -hmm. um, I would greatly appreciate that. Um, also, you can reach me on, on Instagram at Little Miss Cupcakes mm -hmm. as well. But yeah. This is outstanding. <laughs> mm. Chris, I guess I need to stop eating, right? <laughs> so we can go. You know what, Katira? Mm -hmm. Sing us out. You got it. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> she over there eating. <laughs> listen. It's Valentine's Day. That's right. It's an amazing day. It's the day of love. That's Share right. with them, Katira. I'm going to eat. I'm just going to eat. <laughs> Let's toast. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're going to toast. Mm -hmm. Yes, to success. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. Mm -hmm. Yes! This is cruise mm -hmm. Oh, that tastes so good. That's good. That, that is, is good. really good. See, little creations like that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Girl. I did good on the stage. Yes, Lord. Mm. The Skywatch Weather Wrap, it's just another way that the Skywatch Weather Team has you covered with your forecast. You can be here in the Midlands, on the West Coast, you will always have the most accurate forecast so that you can plan for any weather. The free Skywatch Weather App, brought to you by South Carolina DNR. Trust Skywatch Chief Meteorologist Henry Rothenberg to keep you a step ahead of the weather. Wow, what an amazing show. Listen, it's been absolutely wonderful celebrating Valentine's Day. Hope it's wonderful for you. Just want to send special love to my wife. First of all, it was her birthday on Friday. Happy birthday, Harriet. And then also, we've been celebrating all weekend, and we're going to continue as we celebrate the Day of Love on today. Um, so I love you, and happy Valentine's Day. And to all of you, be safe. And those who are single, listen, share love. Celebrate yourself, because it's a great day. Listen, we've devoured all this food. This food is gone. Do you see that plate? It's empty, honey. Contact to Little Miss Cupcakes, Kim Ellison. She's available to you. Your coffee cups are up. Your pinkies are out. It's been an amazing weekend. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody turn the lamp on.